got my uh, rear window molly panel from Counterproductive Garage. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and see how it looks. I haven't opened it yet, I've had it for a few weeks. There it is, got the mounting hardware, it's just a couple uh, rib nuts mounted on it right here. A little sticker, nice. Nice powder coating on it. Got the counterproductive garage label there. Pretty solid, it's not, uh, not too heavy. So get it installed, see how it does. So in the instructions, he re recommends that you tape off the uh, body panels here just to keep from scratching them while you're installing. Obviously it's metal against plastic, so I'm gonna go ahead and use some painter's tape. Tape off that area. Next, I gotta remove the little panel here to get to the hardware so I can loosen up the bracket there. Got a couple trim tools. This piece just slides right off. These are eight millimeter. Loosen them up. Don't believe you need to take them all the way out because the panel is made to just slide right in. All right, so you might be able to see there the uh, molly panel's got just some open slots here. So these are gonna slide right over behind behind the silver part, but not behind the uh, other end of the latch. Okay, found my eight millimeter socket. So the instructions do say just go ahead and use the socket. So save yourself some trouble and just find that in the first place uh, instead of using an open end wrench like I do. You're going to need it for this part. There, there we go. So that end is mounted. Now, the nice thing about this is that it does make it so you can still access the vent, open and close it. Uh, I suppose one of the downsides is if you have window inserts, you're not going to be able to, you know, put the window insert in there. I suppose you can slide it from the top, but also, like, if you're going to be putting bags all over this, you don't really need the window insert anyway. So the instructions do say to check this space down here and make sure that you're not hitting the uh, door panel. And it looks like I'm pretty much clear, so I should be good. But if you are hitting the door panel, it says go back and loosen these up and try to slide it up a little bit so that you're not scraping here because you don't want this scraping on this part right here whenever you're driving down the road. All right, now I'm gonna mark the uh, tabs on the other side here for where I'm gonna put the little rubber rib nuts that come with this thing. Um, and these are also slotted brackets, so I'm just marking where I wanna drill the hole so that I can slide the bracket onto the rib nut. And it's gonna be drilled in this plastic part here. Um, and the instructions do say, you know, there's a lot of play in this panel generally from element to element. So it's made to where you can kind of figure out how it's gonna work for yours. Uh, I'm gonna kind of eyeball this bottom here and pull it down a little bit to make this as even as I can, uh, which is gonna, you know, bring this tab a little closer to the actual panel. And then I'm gonna mark it. All right, now I'm pull it back off and drill some holes. All right, so now that I got it removed again, I'm gonna go ahead and drill these holes that I marked. Uh, it calls for a 3 8 inch drill bit. 
I always like to start a little small for stuff like this and then step up if I need to. So I'm just a little below three eighths here. So once you got the holes drilled, you wanna insert the uh, riv nuts, which are just these little things here. This end's rubber, it's got some metal inside of it. The way these work is you push, push it in when you tighten down the, uh, tighten down the nut, it'll pull this backside. Uh, it'll expand it behind the panel so it'll hold it in place. So you wanna, once you've got your holes drilled, go ahead and put these in. And he does mention in the instructions that you want it to be a snug fit. So don't be surprised if you gotta go back and do a couple passes to try and loosen things up a little bit. So next step is to just slide this back on and tighten everything down. Uh, the instructions do recommend leaving the tape on until after you put the panel in. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull it off because my body panels are already scratched up anyway, so I'm not super concerned about it. All right, so now I just slide it back on like I did before over here. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this side first. I gotta tighten up the other side, which is a little more awkward. I don't know if I can fit my wrench in here. I might have to find a smaller, something with a smaller head. That's one thing. Watch out if you have a deep uh, socket and you're trying to use it here, that might, you might run into a problem with that. So I need to find a shorter eight millimeter socket real quick. Well, unfortunately I could not find my ratcheting open end wrench, which I was gonna use up top here. So I'm gonna have to use a regular one. And I couldn't find my small ratchet either, so I'm gonna have to use uh, just a straight, flexible socket wrench. A little, little awkward. I would say this is probably the hardest part of installing this thing is working on this side because it's just kind of awkward to get to these nuts here. This is another reason you want to make sure that you don't drill those holes too big because if you do, when you're trying to tighten down the nuts, the rubber part of the rib nut might start spinning. So you definitely want to get a snug fit. Tighten it down till it feels snug. Tighten these up a little bit more. There you go. That's pretty much it. Got the Molly panel installed. Um, I would, you know, be mindful of how much weight you're putting on this thing. You probably don't want to put anything too heavy. Um, I think I am going to try to mount my fire extinguisher here actually, but if you're going to do that, I would definitely mount it towards this side since this is the side that is, has a much more solid mounting point. Uh, but yeah, let me uh, throw some of my Molly bags on here and I'll show you how it looks in a little bit. All right, so here's the panel all mounted up with uh, some of my bags on it. Got my first aid kit here. This is a rip off first aid kit. It's just got Velcro and a strap here comes right off. I got my uh, Blue Ridge Overland gear uh, fire extinguisher pouch. Works pretty good. And like I said, I mounted that over towards this side, uh, which is where the rigid mounting point is, as opposed to the other side where uh, it's just going into the door panel. And then just another random bag here. Uh, I use this for bug spray and sunscreen and stuff like that. Yeah, you can see got a little bit of room left, but uh, yeah, works out pretty well. It's a quality piece of craftsmanship, I would say. Uh, so yeah, if you're trying to get a little more space uh, usage out of your element, this is definitely a good way to do it. And uh, one other thing I'll point out, I don't know if you can see here or not, but there's some mount points up here 
And what these are for is for like a track mount, like what you would use in a kayak. Uh, so you can mount accessories up here too, or you know, anything else that would fit through these bolt holes you could bolt on here. So just another nice little touch. Uh, again, this is made by Counterproductive. I think he goes by Counterproductive Garage. I'm not sure, but it's uh, counterproductive.us is the website. And of course I'll post the link, but uh, check it out. He's got a few other cool things that uh, I hope to be reviewing soon.